Okay, so now we're here. All right, so I, I, I redrew more circle. I erased some of the stuff that I, I had done previously in the principal stress day. And I just I just started with what we need, okay? And here um, I have, again, I just drew a point, point A here. I have the radius uh, calculated here. R equals 3.35 KSI from the previous part. And then alpha was calculated this angle here was 63.4 degrees. Okay, all calculated previously in that part two video. And now what we want to do is get the maximum in-plane shear stress. And the maximum in-plane shear stress is, is literally the furthest we can go out from the circle in the plus tau direction, in the shear stress direction. So in this case right here, the maximum in-plane shear stress is right here. This is, if you will, my lowest point right here. Okay, and this distance is this distance is the radius. Okay, so my tau max, my tau max, my tau max right here, tau max is just equal to the radius, which is 3.35 KSI. Okay, at this point right here. So here is my max implant shear stress state right here. There's my 3.35 KSI. The angle it takes me to get to here, this line, if you will, this line, the angle for this line right here is alpha plus 90 degrees okay so this angle this new angle that to for me to go all the way over here which i will call uh oh i don't know oh uh, shoot let's just call it beta okay let's call it beta again okay so beta this ah uh, let's not call it beta let's call it uh, let's call it phi this angle phi is equal to beta or alpha plus 90 degrees which in this case is 153.4 degrees and and now if I want to know um, if I want so this is my angle I need to rotate uh, clockwise in more circle and so in real life the angle theta s would just be phi divided by 2 which is 153 divided by 4 is 70 6.7 degrees clockwise in real life for all my representative volume element okay and so here this point right here now if i want to draw I, I know my stress i know um this point right here the coordinates of that point what are the coordinates of that point the coordinates of this point are minus 0.5 ksi comma 3.35 ksi okay and now i want to draw the state of stress here and so again, I start with my a, a horizontal line, a horizontal line here. I draw so let me get some space here. So I start with a horizontal line. My reference from theta equals zero degrees. There's my reference right here, and then I'm going to go 76.7 degrees, which is a pretty big angle. So here it's right here, 76.7 degrees. This angle, I call this. 76.7 degrees and then is that right what we had before 76.7 yes okay and now i draw at that point i draw a line perpendicular to this to this line right here so perpendicular to this line i draw right here like this and then i complete my square okay I complete my square as messed up as it may look okay or my rectangle whatever my represent complete it I'm completing it okay a bunch of 90 degree angles it's no brainer okay so that looks pretty good okay it's close enough whatever all right this is if you will my new okay plus x direction or new x new new direction right here 76.7 okay and here on, on this face on this face representing this right here i have a normal stress of minus 0.5 ksi which means okay my coordinates of that face are Point, minus 0.5 and 3.35 ksi which means here i have 0.5 ksi causing compression right there okay here's my my new plus x face if you will x prime and here the y just comes along for the ride right here here's my new here's my old plus y prime okay y comes along for the ride x is what's rotated and this angle this right here my shear stress is positive 3.35 that means here on my plus x face in my plus y direction which is here plus x face in the plus y direction and then i complete this rest of the shear stress that's based on equilibrium okay bam 3.35 okay 
KSI, and then here I have here equal and opposite 0.5 KSI causing compression. And then I have to look and think about what's what's my normal stresses here, and you know just like we were talking about before, to go from from x prime to y prime here, it's a 90 degree rotation in Morse circle, right? Counterclockwise or counterclockwise to get this way. So that means it would be 180, 90 degree rotation in the representative volume element, be 180 in real life. That means I'm all the way over here. And hey, my normal stress here is also 0.5 KSI, negative. So here, bam, 0.5 KSI, 0.5 KSI. And this, this right here, this is my solution to the maximum in-plane shear stress state. If you give one angle relative to the horizontal and all the, you draw all the stress states, you know, all the normal stresses, all the shear stresses, you're good. You're done. That's the solution. Doesn't matter how you get it. All right. Hopefully that was helpful. Let me know if you got any questions. Later.